Thanks a lot, guys. A country that believes that all men and women are born free and equal cannot be true to itself if it doesn't defend those principles for all people, wherever they live, regardless their circumstances, and no matter how desperate their struggle. In fact, our support should be strongest where rights are threatened the most. There can be no peace and stability in Afghanistan or anywhere else in the world that involves trading away the rights of women. Worse still, we see impunity for crimes committed against women and girls during conflict, or when women human rights defenders are attacked or killed or imprisoned. And none of this is to discount the efforts of the many men, great husbands, fathers, brothers, and sons who have been with us in this fight. It is simply the reality of the unequal power relations, abuse of power, gender bias, violence, and lack of justice that keep so many women in a subordinate and therefore vulnerable position internationally. As long as we continue to put almost every other issue ahead of women's rights and participation, we will remain stuck in a cycle of violence and conflict. We will have learned nothing, and our institutions will count for less than they should.